All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about Solana. You know, daily analysis on the price of Solana, see what is happening, and of course, what is yet to come. You know, if we're looking at crypto bubbles right now, you know, they have added such a nice feature. You know, they've, um, you know, animated the Santa Claus hats on projects as well as, you know, gift boxes, as you can see um, on the bubble. So that's really a nice touch because, of course, we are approaching Christmas, so we need to get into the holiday spirit. But speaking about the holiday spirit, you know, the entire cryptocurrency market is definitely in that. We have seen BTC decide to actually uh, change its mind and head back up to $43,000. We've seen massive amounts of liquidations and weekends uh, shake out yesterday, which, um, you know, of obviously occurred due to the fact that we did see that retracement in BTC but we're starting to see BTC pick up which of course is taking the entire uh, crypto market up with it and that is no surprise um, but um, you know what has caused this right and of course what is next um, that is something we're going to be discussing but let's face it guys December not just December quarter four of 2023 has been nothing but bullish for the entire crypto space and um, you know it's just been literally like mind-blowing uh, to say the least because you know if we go back a few months um, you know there was a video that I made specifically stating that you know history is going to repeat itself and there were a lot of people questioning uh, the overall uh, you know future of crypto especially even going into quarter four and I'm sure a lot of people have been speechless at this point but I uh, know before we do get into our Solana analysis I do have uh, you know a huge special announcement which you might have seen in the separate video I've made if not just going to quickly briefly go over that so there's two different tiers for my patreon if you uh, do support the channel please check it out first link in the description um, so you know if you want a little bit more detail on that you can see this and you know the telegram channel that a lot of people were talking about you know, you know this is where you will also get that so for tier one it's just going to be uh you know the private telegram channel for everyone that is part of tier one and obviously the vip one will be just for the vip members and if you want to uh, read a little bit more on that that will also be there a link in the description box below see you there but now let's take a look at solana so you guys can see the solana is back above 70 dollars to be exact 75 dollars and 84 cents um, up 10% as mentioned in USD comparative. It's also up 4.1% in BTC comparative over the past 24 hours. So what we're seeing with its market cap is it's back above 32 point. Uh, so basically it's back above $32 billion. And the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at $2.3 billion, which is really, really nice to see. But before we go any further, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So what are some news revolving around Solana besides the price picking up back above 70 bucks? So you guys can see this for yourself. Another day, another historic uh, moment for Sol. You guys can see this for yourself. Breaking Solana December decentralized volume has broken above $10 billion. And again, at this point, I'm not uh, sure who is even surprised at this fact. You know, the amount of interest the chain is getting is absolutely insane. And the amount of developers that are coming and that are showing interest towards Solana ecosystem is absolutely mind boggling. And of course, the NFT marketplace on Sol is skyrocketing. It's leaving, you know, Ethereum NFT back, back literally in, uh, you know, the past, basically what I'm trying to say. So you can see this for yourself. Breaking Solana flips Ethereum in seven day NFT sales volume for the first time in history. So this, of course, is, you know, historic, right? And you can see this for yourself. It has flipped Ethereum. Can you put that into perspective? And your boy Crypto ZX saw this coming literally before anyone was paying attention to the Solana NFTs. And only the real ones know that. But 
Uh, with that said, let's take a look at what's happening with the price and of course what is yet to come. Uh, before we get into the Solana's price, let's take a look at BTC. So Bitcoin, of course, had you know a wild, wild ride yesterday. We did see uh, Bitcoin going back down to forty thousand four hundred. And, you know, this is probably due to the fact that, you know, there is a CME futures gap at 39,500. Whales, um, you know, possibly try to shake out the weak hands. Um, you know, that could be a possibility as well. But like I've said to you guys in the past, CME futures can take a while to fill in. Even though we're seeing a little bit of a bounce, do I still think that there is not a possibility that we could be seeing a retracement going into um, 2024 in January? I still think the possibility is still there for a retracement for BTC. But really nice seeing, of course, you know, uh, BTC pushing up into the 38.2. A lot of news going around the Bitcoin ETF possibly being approved in January. And speaking about the Bitcoin ETF, now this is where everything, uh, you know, is depending on. So if Bitcoin ETF is approved uh, quarter one of next year, so January, if that is what happens, you know, I think we're going to start heading towards all time highs just based off of that news. But let's say we hear some sort of a delay. Let's see, we hear a rejection. Then, yes, we will see a huge uh, retracement, in my opinion. Um, and again, a re huge retracement. I'm not thinking, you know, we're going back down to 20K. Uh, of course, if it's rejected, you never know. So and that risk lies there. Right. But. You know, it begs the question, why are we pumping this hard? There has to be something going behind the scenes. And in my opinion, as I've said to you guys several times, it's the institutions that are already picking up and they want to, you know, take the price of BTC as high as possible prior to the, um, you know, ETF being approved because this will allow retail to pick up Bitcoin at a higher price rather than a cheaper price. So that's that. But as far as Solana is concerned, you guys can see this for yourself. As mentioned to you guys before yesterday too, you know, Sol is looking great. Even after we did see that retracement yesterday all the way down to $66.97, I said it's still looking great. And it's no, uh, you know, rocket science to kind of see that because you know this is one of the best looking charts in the space right now the way soul is holding now hear me out the way solana is holding despite seeing volatility within the price of btc and also um you know after seeing a significant rally like it has seen still the way it's holding speaks for itself and we have about two weeks left till the you know year of 2023 comes to an end what if you know, Seoul does the impossible to reach $100 before we close out the year. That would be absolutely insane to see. And speaking about um, all-time, I'm sorry, yearly highs, we're only 6% away from us to reach, um, you know, uh, yearly highs. And, of course, I think that can happen, especially if BTC starts pushing back into the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level tomorrow morning. That is going to be really, really nice to see. Not only that, um, like I said, that resistance coming up around Around that $78 is huge if that is able to break out there is a strong strong chance we could see you know $80 sold potentially even 90 to a hundred dollars and you know speaking about a 90 to a hundred dollars sold let's put that into perspective now that's only a 34% move if BTC pushes and closes the year at $45,800, I think that could realistically um, happen. So let's pay very close attention to BTC right now. But the way Sol is holding against BTC is really, really bullish. And I really love seeing this. But that is it for today's update. Do check the Patreon down below. Come support. Um, and yeah, love you all. Thank you so much for all your support. See you tomorrow. I've been Crypto ZX and peace out.